You've made it. Last problem. All right. And I promise next week will not go this long. <laughs> okay. All right. Here is the situation. The number of people in thousands employed in a resort town can be modeled by this function, where X is the month of the year. Graph the number of people employed in the town for one complete period. Okay, so let's go through and label everything that we know. First, we start with amplitude. Our amplitude is, I'm gonna make better use of my space. Amplitude is the number in front, and I see a 1.5. Next thing I wanna check is the period. Remember period is two pi over b, and b is the number in front of the x. So we have two pi over pi over six. That's equal to two pi times the reciprocal so 6 over pi. Put a 1 over that. Pi's cancel. Period equals 12. So this one will look a little bit different than our previous ones because we're starting, um, we're going to have this period um, that's going to be 12. And all of our other periods before have been 2 pi, pi, pi over 2. So we're going to label our x-axis a little differently. I see a phase shift. And that's going to be left 2. And then I see finally a vertical shift of 5.2. That means we're not going to use the x-axis as our center line and go up and down from there. We're going to put that center line, we're going to start by putting a dotted line on 5.2 and we'll go up 1.5, down 1.5 from there. Okay, so now that we're starting to talk about our plan, let's start executing that. Okay, so start on my graph. Oops, since it's gonna go up, I'm gonna put my zero line down here. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line for 5.2. This is, I'm also going to label on my y-axis um, 5.2 plus 1.5 and then 5.2 minus 1.5 to know where to go up to and down to. So it looks like I'm going to have a 6.7 here and then I'll have a 3.7 there. Next thing to think about, I've kind of thought about my amplitude, I've thought about that vertical shift. Um, this is a sine function. Normally I would start at zero, zero. In this case, I would start maybe on this um, center line of 5.2, but I have to take into account that I'm shifting this left two. So I'm going to go left two That's negative two, and I'm gonna start my graph over there. So my graph's gonna start right here. It's a sine function, so it's gonna go up, down, back to the line again, and it's gonna achieve that by the time I get to the 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the rest of my x-axis two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. The period is 12, so it's gonna get back there right at 12. It'll go through the x-axis in the middle. So what number is in the middle of negative two and 12? 
believe that's seven, but let's just be sure. Two, four, oh, five. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to then move up. Again, I can just find what number is right in the middle of here and that will be my maximum point. So what's right in the middle of positive 5 and negative 2 is right here at 1.5. That's where I'll reach my maximum. Let me make this not so messy. Same thing over here. What number is right in the middle? That's where we're going to reach our minimum. And now I can draw in my curve. Notice what points were very important to label. X intercepts in a way, the intercepts of that center line, and my maximum and minimum. So I've graphed it. That's part A. Part B, what is the maximum number of people employed? Well, what is the maximum of this graph? It's 6.7. But we are told that this is a graph whose units are in thousands. So what that means is 6,700 is the maximum number of people. All right, nice work, everybody. Um, your assignment is to work on the worksheet that is posted in this week's folder. Um, and the assignment is just the odds. I recommend that you do all of it though, because I think extra practice is gonna help all of us right now. Um, I expect to see you at our Google meeting on Tuesday and on Thursday um, so that we can do some more of these together, okay? So have a good couple of days and we'll talk to each other soon.